Hey friends, welcome back to Grand Adventure. I'm your host, Mark Guido, and many of you have told us that your favorite footage here at Grand Adventure is what we film with our drone. So we've gone back to our archives to find our favorite drone footage from our camping and travels all across the United States. So stay tuned. We launched Grand Adventure for our very first episode back in the fall of 2017, camping with friends at the Wedge in Emory County, Central Utah, at the San Rafael Swell Mountain Bike Festival. Our travels have brought our cameras, our RV, and our drone to many spectacular locations on our own Grand Adventure in the three and a half years ever since. We made several more trips through the Intermountain West that first autumn, including a stop to Boondock at the spectacular Valley of the Gods near Monument Valley for our second episode. Sticking close to home, we also paid a visit to the famed Bonneville Salt Flats and the sand dunes of Little Sahara before finishing up that first abbreviated season in southern Utah along the shores of Lake Powell. Our 2018 season brought big, unexpected changes to Grand Adventure. Our spring started ordinarily enough, with nearby adventures in southern Utah, chasing wild horses in Utah's West Desert along the historic Pony Express Trail, and even visiting a state park near Salt Lake City for a rainy, impromptu camping weekend. As spring bled into summer, however, there were some big changes afoot. 
fed up with a toxic career choice, and frightened by a surprise bout with cancer, I quit my job in favor of taking a year off of life in our RV. While we didn't plan things this way, this allowed us to broaden the scope of our RV travels, and in the process, jumpstart production of Grand Adventure. We started out in South Dakota at the Badlands, before turning back towards the Pacific Northwest. That westward push would bring us all the way to the Pacific Ocean. Traveling along the coast from Washington State southward through Oregon and into Northern California. We would stick to the coast as far south as Mendocino County camping along the oceanfront bluffs at Westport Union Landing State Beach. From there, we'd strike eastward, visiting historic Virginia City, Nevada, and a very smoky Eastern Sierra Nevada mountains of California, before returning to Salt Lake City for some RV repairs and a chance to regroup. Colorado is one of the most popular Western destinations for RV travelers. And with cool mountain summer breezes, spectacular Rocky Mountain scenery, and ample opportunity for outdoor recreation, it's easy to understand why. One of our favorite Colorado destinations is in the San Juan Mountains, surrounding the tiny historic mining town of Silverton along the Million Dollar Highway. But almost no region in the West surpasses Yellowstone and Grand Teton National Parks in Wyoming on the itineraries of RV travelers from across the nation. In our boondocking spot on Shadow Mountain in episode 72, delivered bucket list views of the Grand. Further south in Wyoming and lesser known, Flaming Gorge is a sportsman's paradise straddling the Utah border. Our boondocking site at Jug Hollow sat at the tip of a beautiful peninsula surrounded by water on three sides. We wrapped up our 2018 season in the fall with a swing through the desert southwest, including our first visits to Mojave National Preserve in California and Snow Canyon State Park outside of St. George, Utah.
just as we're doing right now. We spent the winter of 2018-19 in Salt Lake City to enjoy the ski season at my happy place out the ski area, high in Little Cottonwood Canyon. There's no overnight parking anywhere in Little Cottonwood Canyon in winter. We did, however, take the opportunity to combine RV camping and skiing at nearby Deer Valley Resort, boondocking at the Snowbound Marina parking lot at Jordan Nell State Park. By the time our 2019 travel season kicked off in the spring, we were both back in the workforce and gainfully employed. Much of that summer was spent weekending at new to us destinations in the Intermountain West. By late summer of 2019, we got the green light from our new employers to work from the road and headed for a six week swing through the great state of Texas.
returned again to Salt Lake City for the ski season. And in addition to my beloved Alta, we made a trip to Grand Targhee, Wyoming for episode 135. Absolutely no one anticipated the effect the coronavirus would have when the ski season abruptly ended without any warning in mid-March. With the chairlift silent, we opted to head straight back onto the road with a swing down through Arizona and southern Utah for spring. From there, we'd venture across the United States on our American Heartland Tour 2020 through the Midwest, Southeast, and Great Lakes for the entire summer.
We wrapped up our 2020 season by coming full circle, by returning to The Wedge, the site of our very first episode of Grand Adventure, almost precisely three years earlier. So that was a whole lot of fun, looking back at three and a half years of the best Grand Adventure drone footage so far. Now I say so far because we will be resuming our travel season coming up in April. Just like every winter, we are staying in Salt Lake City for the ski season, but this is our first year doing so as full-time RVers. We'll be getting back on the road in April, filming new travel episodes for your enjoyment. So if you're not yet a Grand Adventurer, this is the perfect time. Go smash that little red subscribe button, the one right down there in the corner, and ring that notification bell to be sure that you come along on each and every Grand Adventure each and every Wednesday evening. And we'd be honored if you shared the channel with your friends, family, and on social media. And if you like this episode, it's extremely important to us. Down below, give us a big thumbs up. Now also down below, while you're down there, that's where you'll find the comment section. It's where we'd love to hear from you after each episode. So until next week, please remember, life is nothing but a grand adventure. We'll see you then.